Hi everyone, this tutorial will show you how to set up a scene for Quest Machine. We're starting with a really basic scene with a standard assets first person controller. The first step is to navigate into plugins, pixel crushers, Quest Machine, prefabs, and add the Quest Machine prefab. This game object contains a configuration component and a set of pre-built UIs that you can customize or replace. Next, optionally add an input device manager prefab. This game object gracefully handles input changes between keyboard and mouse, joystick and touch. If you want to use Quest Machine's save system, add a save system component, typically to an empty game object, but in this case, you can just add it to the Quest Machine game object. Now select your player and add a Quest Journal component. On the Quest Journal, set the ID to a unique string and set the display name to what you want to show in dialog UIs and journal UIs. Likewise for the image, which is optional. If you don't assign the Quest Journal UI and Quest HUD fields, the Quest Journal will use the UIs defined on the Quest Machine game object. Otherwise, you can assign them here to overwrite them. Save settings specifies what to include in saved games. And the quests section shows a list of quests that are in the quest journal. Right now the player doesn't have any quests, so the quests list is empty. Next, optionally add a position saver component. This component will save the player's position in saved games. Select your NPC and add a Quest Giver component. Just like with the Quest Journal, assign an ID and a display name and an image. The text table is used to replace strings in dialog text with special replacement values. Save settings are the same as in Quest Journal. Dialog content specifies additional content that's shown in the dialog windows. For example, when there's no quest, we can say, sorry, I don't have any quests. And when there are multiple offerable quests, we could say, can you help me with these? And when there are multiple active quests, we could preface the list of quests with, what do you want to talk about? The NPC also has a quest list. You can create new elements by clicking plus and then assigning quests. Finally, we'll get back to the quest machine game object. We can see here that the UIs are assigned from in our canvas. Generator settings are used to tweak performance of the procedural quest generator. And the debug section lets you turn on various debugging options. Finally, we need to assign one or more quest databases. The prefab starts with the demo quest database, but you can replace that with one of your own or add others. And that's how to set up the scene. 
To learn how to actually create quests, please see the Quick Start tutorial. Thanks for watching.